Well, Clayworks came as an idea um, by a couple people who were taking classes at the high school through the adult education uh, courses. And the idea came up that we really need to have a studio in Hamilton where people can come and do pottery when there aren't classes. They, they are quite diverse. Most of them are local people that may have taken a pottery class at some time in their life, you know, through the high school or uh, through adult education, or maybe they dabbled in it somewhere else. And they would like to get back to it. And there's a lot of people out there that are very enthusiastic about trying to get their hands back in the mud again. We have about 30 members right now, and then we have over 120 people on our contact list. People who want to possibly take classes or learn more about Clayworks. I talked to one gal the other day who was like 80 years old, and then another gal who's just a young mother and would like for her child to come and maybe have a mother-daughter class. So we're considering doing some, some children's classes as well. Teaching here, it's a little different than teaching at the high school. Um, everybody's here because they want to be here. Um, they've, been, they've had hard days, they've, they've been at work. Um, they come here to relax, and it's fun to be around those people and, and share common interests. I've had former students from high school that have taken my class here, um, all the way up into the 70s, and it's nice to see a a wide range of some retired people, some um, young professionals that come to work here. We felt that the co-op fit our needs the best because each member has a share in the co-op. Everybody contributes, um, volunteers time or materials or money to make it work, and everybody has input into how the business will be run and uh, it gives everybody uh, a piece of Clayworks. To do the co-op you have people that they are interested, they, they're all there um, as a collective group to make this work and it's not just individually taking the benefits for themselves, it's if we all work together, work hard, spend our hours, make this work, everybody benefits from it. Julie Foster was extremely instrumental in getting us our co-op status and, and getting us approved and you know we got a board of directors now, we wrote bylaws, uh, we got all that information from her on how to do that. As a member you get to be here and interact with instructors other uh, ceramic artists and hobbyists who share their knowledge and, and expertise. I think the biggest thing is anybody can do, um, anything can be done if there's people willing to put the time and effort in and that's what this, this community has done is they've, they've put their effort in and they want to benefit each other and the rest of the, the valley.